Hi everyone. Um, today's art journal prompt week eight is spread your wings. Um, my inspiration um, this week has come from um, the dragonfly from Noit Berkovich. Um, Noit sent me this for my embellishment challenge um, and I've decided I want to use it um, with this piece of paper here. Um, this is a piece left over from when I was doing the Tyvek um, abstract bead um, wall hanging. Um, and I've decided that that just goes perfectly um, with the with the dragonfly. So that's what I want to use. I'm working on my usual piece of mixed media paper, but this time I've torn um, the edges um, rather than using scissors. And all I've done to tear it is um, I've measured it and just put my ruler like that and then torn the pages against the side of um, the ruler so that um, it's the right size. Um, I also want to um, tear around this as well because I don't want it um, perfect. So let's have a look. Let's tear this and see what we um, end up with. And then we'll do some kind of um, background. Um, I've got no plan for this. Um, all I've got here at this stage um, is a stencil, some modelling paste, um, the dragonfly and this, this piece of paper. Um, so we're going to wing it. Ha ha ha. <laughs> we're just well and truly going to make it. Sorry about that. I'm having one of those days. Um, yeah, I'm in a good mood because, of course, I've just um, announced the winner for my um, embellishment challenge. I've just had such a fantastic response. I've just thoroughly enjoyed that. And it was lovely to um, announce the um, winner. So, right. Okie dokie. That's what we've we've got. Um, I shall add other things as well, but um, I think that's what I'm going to mount my dragonfly on. Right, I've got my Harlequin um, stencil. Um, I think this is Crafters Workshop, I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I've got my Galleria um, modelling paste as well, and I'm going to put some um, of this through a stencil in a couple of places. Focusing mainly on the outside because, of course, my dragonfly will go um, in the middle. Um, I don't want it absolutely everywhere. Um, and in fact, that will probably do. Let's have a look. Let's put that back and see what we've ended up with. Yep, yeah, that's, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to wipe my stencil down and give this a dry. Um, and right, we'll be back. Um, that's dry. And I've grabbed some of my Cosmic Shimmer Mists. Um, I'm using the same colours that I used in the background here. And I am pretty sure I used Egyptian Blue and Patina. Um, so I've given these a good, good shake. Um, and I find with the Cosmic Shimmers that if you keep them on their side um, and then roll them, them like this as opposed to shaking then I haven't had any problems um, with them clogging and I'm just going to spray some on and then I want where's my water bottle gone and then I want this to drip and run let's get all nice and inky and then I'm going to add some of the patina We'll let the same thing happen um, there. And I just love the way that it runs in between the, the channels and then it um, highlights the outside of where um, you've, sp um, you've used your modelling paste. I just love that. And then I'm going to do it the other way round on the, on the other side. So let's add the patina first and get that to run and do its thing. And just use the water bottle to um, get it to go where you want it. In fact I can I want some colour down here but rather than spray again I'm just going to dip it in. That's that's fine. And then oh here comes Louis. Here we go. That's um I just love the way that looks and then I think I want a bit more um, of the um, blue. I just love that blue. Isn't that just gorgeous? Love, love, love that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip, because I've got I've roughed the um, edges up by, cut, um, by um, tearing it as opposed to cutting it with scissors, I'm going to dip the leftover paint just in the edges to create my border. 
And so I'm going to give this a dry because I like the way that looks and then I'll come back. Right, now I've got some gold um, spray on a plastic plate. Um, this is the um, Ducrafts Artiste spritzing ink and I think, yeah, just gold. Um, and I've got some gauze and I am going to get really inky now. I want to see if I can colour this. Now, because it's blue, I'm not sure how successful I'm going to be. Um, oh dear, I'm getting in a right mess here. Um, let's spray some more and see what happens. It doesn't matter if um, we've got blue showing through though, because um, we've got blue in the background anyway. Right, there we go, that should um, do it. So I'm just going to roll that over as well. And then I'm going to go away and dry this, um, and then we'll see whether we've got something that um, that we can use or, or not. <laughs> This is how I'm looking. So um, my netting came out and it's stiffened it as well. It feels absolutely lovely. And because I'm working at, at night, I think this is coming out a lot darker um, than it really is. But um, I just love that. And what I've decided to do, because I've got some leftover gold, I'm going to do the same thing um, with the edges. In fact, I might need a bit um, of water to get this going. I'm going to... Um, colour my edges but in gold um, this time so let's see if we can pick up some of this lovely lovely ink so just smush it all around and see if we can get some good coverage um, going on it should sort of really soak into the edges because we've, we've torn them and um, this is sort of like a handmade um, linen or cotton paper so it should um, soak in really nicely I love that so right I'm going to give this um, a dry I keep playing around with this um, and I just love the simplicity of, of this. I thought about stamping the background and I really don't want to because I just don't think it, it needs it. And I think sometimes in mixed media, we feel as if we've got to throw everything at something and you haven't. Um, some of the most beautiful pages are the most simple ones that, that you do. So always remember that. Um, what I have decided I want to do, I've inked around the edges, by the way, of the Dragonfly in black ink just to make it stand out um, a bit more against the background. Um, I've been playing with the netting as well and I've sort of bunched it up and I think I quite like um, that kind of shape um, but what I want to do is I'm going to bring my plate back um, and um, what have I done with the blue ink um, I've got such a mess going on on my desk I now can't find um, anything here we go what I want to do is go around the edge um, of this piece of paper um, I think with the with the blue, let me just give it a shake um, again. Um, do I want the darker blue or the, the lighter one? I think actually I'm going to go for this colour and I'm going to spray a little bit on my plate. Um, and I just want to sort of do a double um, border around the edge. Um, I've, I've used this technique um, before um, and I just really like the way that it looks. So you get a bit of the gold, a bit of the gold and then a bit of the, the greeny blue as well. Um, and I just think it looks it looks lovely, and I can already see that that's the look um, that I'm I'm after. Right, okay, so I'm going to give this a quick dry beforehand. Um, I mopped up all of the gold um, that was on my plate onto this piece of mixed media paper, and all I've done is just smush it um, all around. I've sort of smushed it around the edges just to use every last drop. So there we go. So that we've now got um, a piece of paper that we can use for something, something else. So I'm going to give this a dry and then we'll sort of have a look at assembling the page. Right, now I've got my glossy accents at the ready because I want to start putting um, things together now. Um, I just really like the way that looks. My quote today um, is from the Tim Holtz Chit Chat Words and it's life was meant for great adventure. Um, and I'm not quite sure where I want to put that yet so I'm just going to um, play it around. In fact I'm going to glue these down first so whilst I've got my um, netting in place I'm just going to apply some glue to, to the back. This will dry clear so this is why I'm using glossy glossy accents and so I can just press that, press that down. Let's put a bit on here as well and glue glue that um, in place, let's just mop, let's grab a tissue, 
I'm not bothered about it sort of being totally secure absolutely everywhere, just enough so that um, it sticks and, and doesn't fall apart. I love the, the texture of having things sort of, you know, quite, quite loose and, and free. There we go. Um, and then where's my paper going to, to go? I think I want my paper, something like that. So again, I'm going to add some glossy accents to the outside. There we are. I want that something, something like that. And then my dragonfly can go, go there. So Um, with with that. The composition um, is the thing that makes all the difference I have found and then I think my quote will go something like that so I'll leave that there for a second and then I just I've dug out some flowers as as you can see just to sort of add a bit more interest to to my page um, and let's have a look and see what we can we can do. These are from a mixture of different people. They're from um, the challenge um, and they're from all over the place. I think that this one here is from, from Marsha. I think this one's from Marsha as well. I think some are from Angie. These are from Jer, I do believe. I'm not sure how many. I think that's enough. I think I really like um, the placement of, of that. I'm going to ink around the edges of my quote. I'm going to have a play around with it um, and then I'll come back. And here we are. Here's my finished page. I've glued it into my journal. Um, I'm so happy with this page. I just think it's it's pretty. It just looks gorgeous. I just love it. I love the addition of the pretty flowers. Um, I ended up cutting the quote um, into three. It just looked better um, placed that way. Um, I inked around the edge of the paper as well, just with a very fine coat of, of black. Um, and that's pretty much it. So um, there we go. Another really, really simple simple page. You don't have to throw absolutely everything at your journal pages. Sometimes less is more. I know I've said this um, before, but I think sometimes we feel that, you know, if we've only spent a short time, um, a period of time on something that, you know, it's it's not very good. That is just not true. It doesn't always have to be um, complicated. Um, so anyway, I look forward to seeing what everybody else does with this prompt to spread your wings. And please give me a thumbs up if you like this and let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.